Hello everyone, my name is Shen Zhou and the work I'd like to present today is about investigating the bell pump strategy in France. Okay, so as you may know, in fact, uh, what is called bell pump here is a catalog of pumps that aim to increase the soil organic carbon. So first thing we need to do is to figure out how many lands are available for us in France. Uh, so we search the land with low soil organic carbon because if the soil is already rich in that, there will be less potential to store extra carbon induced by our plants. At the beginning, we search the land with stock lower than 40 tons per hectare from the database. There are 23 types of lands in France. Of course, we won't destroy our city to plant bio pumps and we don't want to compete with food and we have to exclude the types that are obviously not suitable for planting like rock. Therefore, at last, uh, we choose four types of lands made suitable for planting bio pumps. I mark them in green. They are rap seed, wood moorland, and natural grassland. But for the intensive grassland, uh, from the explanation, we can decide if it's fully available or not. So we say, okay, we can might use part of it. Well, another problem that you may notice is that there is seldom land in stock under 40 ton per hectare. So then we expanded our boundary a little bit to lower than 50 ton per hectare and get the result like the map in the button. It is much better than before. So finally, we define four among 23 types of land might be converted to biopump in France. The maximum is more than 24,000 square kilometers and we call them this land as carbon vulnerable land. Now, let me explain what is biopump here. As my PhD project aims to find a way to remove CO2 in the atmosphere and lower the carbon involved in our economy at the same time, biopump is a strategy that we propose to achieve this challenge. Biopump is a type of pump which could capture CO2 from the atmosphere and then store part of the captured carbon in the soil. From, uh, for the soil in the harvestable part like straw, we will use it to produce the bio-based product to keep this part of the carbon in the taxonosphere, sphere, so to postpone the carbon emits back to the air. Here, we screen plants that could increase the stock from the references. We want to mention a paper written, uh, written by Lido in Scientific Data. It provides a very comprehensive database for perennial plants stock situation aggregating thousands of measurement results. And then according to these references, we summarize some criteria for selecting bio pump. First of all, as we want to stock the carbon in the soil, the predominant factor is that if a plant could increase the stock or not. Uh, I won't expand too much on this as my colleague Ahian will introduce them in detail in the next presentation. In our world, we search the bio pump candidates for reference from references, uh, rate them in different criteria and score. After adding all scores together, we get a bio pump rank. Uh, here, we choose two plants to be further investigated, black locust and hemp, on behalf of perennial and annual plant respectively and the, because they behave well in our rank. So one is annual, one is perennial, one is grass, one is wood. We can compare these two kinds of plants, know their pros and cons. Plants has what kind of parameters is more better for our target and we will use the life cycle assessment to achieve that. Here is the process diagram. I take hemp as an example. We adopt the full life cycle assessment beginning from cradle to grave. First, we cultivate the hemp and then harvest it. After harvesting, we need rating to loosen the straw to extract the fiber easily. After we get the fiber, we design two produce way to get the cast side panel and thermal insulation. They are different in lifetime. Thermal insulation is designed to be used for more than 40 years and the car panel is 20 square uh, 20,000 kilometer, which is equal to 15 to 10 years. So it is, this is another way to compare the results between the same material but different products to explore the inference from producing. And meanwhile, as a consequential LCA we use uh, for shives that produced when we extracting fiber from the straw, they will be used as hemp concrete as a byproduct. Here is the, is the diagram, process diagram for the black locust. The end product is the solid wood furniture. And I mentioned before, we expect that our bio pump could stock the carbon in the soil. So we use the MG model to simulate how much carbon could be stocked in the soil during the plant growth, because MG model has been proved especially suitable for, for France. 
the time scale is here is one hundred five years because the black locust is harvest every thirty five years. So one hundred five years is exactly uh, at the end of the third rotation. And then we need the meteorology data for temperature and evaporation to describe the soil moisture data from the years. For the soil parameters, we still use the harmonized wall soil database as what we do in searching the carbon vulnerable land. And for the carbon input calculated through this formula in the right. Here is the accumulated uh, carbon input for the above ground part. Blow, black locust is mainly consisted by foliage and ground hemp, a ground stump that is used as mulch after harvesting. Uh, for the hemp, is this is the part at the bottom of the straw as we will harvest the straw, and this part is also called non-harvestable part. Carbon in the below ground part is larger than the carbon in the above ground part in both black locust and hemp. Black locust has very strong roots. That is why you can see in the figure carbon in below ground is almost the same as the total carbon input of the hemp. Carbon in the below ground part is larger than the carbon in the above ground part. So you can see this will influence the result a lot. And here is the simulation result. Stock in the hemp field continuously increase, but slowly increase six megagram carbon at the end of the time scale. While stock in the black locust increase according to the rotation, it decreased at the beginning of every rotation. You can see from the result because we have three rotation. But it increases then to the harvesting. We can find uh, also find that whether hemp or black locust, the increasing rate is slower in the later years than before. In the first rotation, stock increase more than 20 tons per hectare in black locust, but increase less and less in the next two rotations. It proves that we need to choose soil with low stock when we search in the carbon renewable land. And from the result, black locust increased 0.55 megagram per hectare, meets the requirement from INHA that if we could increase the four per meal stock every year, we could compensate the CO2 increase in the year. However, from the carbon, distribu carbon distribution, you could find that though we transfer part of the carbon into the soil, most of the captured carbon is in the harvestable part. That means the carbon in the downstream process will play the pivotal role later. To explain that, we conduct a very simple calculation to illustrate how carbon flows in our biopump strategies dynamically. Here, we use miscancels as an example, analyzing the carbon flows from cultivation till the end of life in 100 years. We propose some different scenarios here. F means the carbon stock in the product because there is carbon loss during harvesting and manufacturing, and L means the product lifetime, indicating how long the carbon could be kept in the technosphere. This part would be decided how long we could postpone the carbon back to the air. And here are two extreme examples. One product gets 100% of the carbon and have 100 years lifetime. It's very, very long. And the other has only one year's lifetime. So other scenarios are between these two extreme examples. We analyzed the carbon CO2 flows and the global warming temperature change from 2020 to the end of this century. The result proved that all these scenarios faster the CO2 from the air show the positive result in net carbon storage till the 2100. While although the product with one year lifetime does sequester the CO2, it doesn't help the to contribute to the climate mitigation because it increased the global mean temperature in, in certain periods. So product lifetime play a key role in our biopump strategy and long lifetime is better than short. And thanks for your attention. If you have any question, welcome to ask me.